Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So how to choose the best VPN is a question that some of you guys have been kind of asking in the comments. And I want to just make a video to simplify the criteria. So when choosing a VPN, I think there are four main things that people look out for. The first thing is privacy. Will the VPN uphold my privacy? So if the VPN claims a no locks policy, you want to make sure that they're upholding it to the max and you can know that essentially by looking into the independent audits. And if you see that the VPN, as you can see right here, is basically littered with plenty of independent audit reports that prove that ExpressVPN truly uphold their no locks policy. And I've read a lot of these before. You can go ahead and read them yourself if you're interested, but they all result in great standings. So that's the first thing that I look out for when it comes to choosing a VPN. You know, generally speaking, a VPN is to protect your data. It's made so that whenever somebody tries to intercept your data, let's say you're on a public Wi-Fi and they try to intercept your data somehow, they simply won't be able to because you've wrapped up your online activities in essentially this kind of box with a key that is only in possession of the VPN itself. And so nobody will be able to know what you're doing online. And if the VPN provider also has a no logs policy, that they uphold, they won't keep any of that information themselves. In fact, with ExpressVPN in 2017, the Turkish government seized an ExpressVPN server as part of an investigation, but they were still unable to extract any information out of the servers thanks to ExpressVPN's true no logs policy. And this was back in 2017. So you can only imagine at this point, all matters of security have improved quite a bit. And Express is always running penetration tests to make sure that their network is as foolproof and as secure as possible. Now, what's cool is that NordVPN and Surfshark are also audited, but they never really went through the same kind of incident that Express went through with the Turkish government here or any other government for that matter. They do have independent audits and the reports also have great results proving that they don't collect any information about their users or share it. So as far as security, all these VPNs are great choices. Now, the second criteria besides privacy and security, all these VPNs, of course, pass that. And that's the reason why I chose these. There's streaming and accessing content that's not available to you. So, you know, when we talk streaming, I mean, you know, if I'm trying to access, for example, you know, I'm abroad and I want to access American Netflix. What I do is just connect to ExpressVPN's American server. And there you go. I have access to the American Netflix. I also have access to Hulu, which is an America or Japan only service, and it's only available there. So all I have to do to get access to my Hulu account is simply connect to an American server. And there we go. It'll treat me as if I'm there. And if you go to any IP finder, you'll see that your IP address reflects what you're connected to on your VPN. And that's why it shows I'm in Dallas, Texas. So as far as streaming and getting access to content that is not available in your region, all three of these VPNs also work remarkably well. Now, the difference that you might want to take note of is that NordVPN has the biggest number of countries. So 111 countries as opposed to ExpressVPN's 105 and Surfshark's 100. So if that matters to you and you want access to as many countries as possible, then I thought I would just point that out. But as far as reliability and accessing streaming services, I've noticed that nine times out of 10 or 9.5 times out of 10, I'm able to successfully access whatever service I'm trying to access using ExpressVPN. Whereas with Nord, it's around 8.5 to 9 times out of 10. And whereas with Surfshark, it's around 8 to 8.5 out of 10. And this is basically the consistency as far as whether or not you'll be able to access the service that you're trying to access. And if it doesn't work with any of these VPNs, all you have to do is just turn off the VPN once 
turn it back on again. With some VPNs, you'll see a refresh button here. And once you've done that, let's just go back to the IP address finder here and I hit refresh. This will give me a new IP address so that just in case the IP address that I was using was kind of like flagged or blacklisted somehow because a bunch of other people tried to access the same service using the same IP address, then it's probably just a flagged IP address and refreshing and turning off the VPN and turning it back on will work just fine no matter which one of these three vpns that you're using again as long as you're using a vpn that's known for accessing streaming services you should be good to go with any of these vpns as far as gaming they also work really well so gaming and torrenting that's the third thing that a lot of people look out for when choosing a vpn so all these vpns work really well with streaming torrenting and gaming but specifically for gaming i really like that surfshark has this little feature which will just quickly test the ping of all of the servers from top to bottom so it's just a little bit of a time saver not just that you can go to settings go to vpn settings and click on speed tests and just kind of test out everything to get more information and download speeds and upload speeds and all kinds of things like that. So if that matters to you, if you feel like this is of good value, then you can definitely go for Surfshark. Me personally, I still choose ExpressVPN, whether I'm streaming, torrenting or gaming. And that's just because it works really well, no matter which activity I'm doing. Now, that doesn't mean that NordVPN or Surfshark are worse. No, they're actually really good in fact for torrenting i might even recommend nordvpn over express because of the peer-to-peer -peer specific or specialty servers here and that doesn't mean that the regular servers don't work with torrenting it's just that you've got peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers which can typically offer better connection for torrenting and gaming because with these servers you're getting a more direct link with the peer that you're trying to connect to as opposed to the regular servers that you might be using not to mention that as far as speed you'll be able to reach even higher speeds with NordVPN than Express and Surfshark thanks to the NordLynx protocol, which makes NordVPN arguably the fastest VPN in the business. So yeah, if that's what you're looking for, then NordVPN will be your go-to. Now, the final criteria for choosing a VPN is whether or not it can bypass censorship. So if you can access blocked sites in restrictive regions, this is a good VPN. Now, all these VPNs work remarkably well. Look, I've tried these out in China. I've tried them out in Turkey, in Saudi, in UAE. All of these are restrictive countries. All these VPNs work in all the countries except for China. If you're in China, I would definitely recommend ExpressVPN followed by Surfshark. NordVPN, unfortunately, as of now, is not really working in China, so I wouldn't really recommend it. But for any other restrictive country, it works incredibly well. For China specifically, if you're going with Surfshark, you want to make sure you're using the China Telecom provider. And with ExpressVPN, you'll be able to use Express in China while using the China Telecom and China Mobile service provider. So these are the two providers providers that I would recommend when using these VPNs in order to make sure that you're getting a good connection and you're connecting to these VPNs properly. Otherwise, you might run into some issues. But for all the other countries, you can use any of these VPNs and they'll work just fine. This is just a special case with China because the Great Firewall of China is in fact the most advanced censorship firewall in the world. So it tends to be quite a bit difficult to bypass. But these are the best VPNs over overall the best three VPNs that I've chosen based on all four criterias. So as far as privacy and security, streaming and accessing content that's not available to you, gaming and torrenting, and finally bypassing censorship, all of these VPNs work incredibly well no matter which one you go for. I personally like to go with ExpressVPN. This is my daily driver of a VPN and I would say if Apple were to create a VPN, it would look like ExpressVPN. And it has the same characteristics, essentially. It's incredibly easy to use. It's secure and very reliable, no matter when and how you're using it. So that's why I find it very easy to recommend Express. NordVPN will be an amazing option if you're looking for bonus features like a mini antivirus with Threat Protection Pro here. It protects you from harmful files and malware and harmful ads as well. And my favorite feature is file transfer this has become my favorite way 
to exchange files between my devices essentially so i've downloaded nord on my phone my pc and my laptop and i use nord's file transfer feature here all i have to do is just turn on the mesh net feature and i automatically have connections between all of my devices and it's just such a convenient way of exchanging files very reliably and safely because you're doing it over the protected network of nord vpn and finally if you want to basically get the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the features they usually get with more expensive VPNs, let's say like Nord and ExpressVPN, then Surfshark will be the best option. You're getting a lot of value here and you'll be able to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices so you can share it around with as many friends and family. And this is as opposed to NordVPN's 10 device limit and ExpressVPN's 8 device limit. So it's very generous of Surfshark to really offer that considering that Surfshark is considered one of the biggest VPNs out there and it's an incredibly high performing VPN. So yeah, that is a lot of value for the money. And so if you do end up picking any of these VPNs up, I'll be sure to put some discount links that will always give you the best available discount on offer. Even if you're watching this video later on, it'll still give you the latest deal. So feel free to take advantage of that. And if you want information on any of these VPNs, individually i'll be sure to leave reviews below as well and if you have any comments or questions or suggestions please feel free to drop them in the comments below as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one